Yo, O M O N Y A M E. Usually I'm sweet, but always got a bit of heat. Hot sauce in my bag way long before B. Cause Chicago got me right. Flame my hots with the cheese, with the chips and the pickle. Pickle juice on the chips. Probably the reason why I got these hips. Sway in the morning, burn early. Yeah, I got the moves. Graduated with my masses, so you know I got the toes. Uh. vibrations of the entire black nation and i'm just coming to y'all because recently i posted kamaria on my instagram story of us going over some words i had just started teaching her some words at that time she only knew three um three words and now we're up to like 10 um in a matter of two weeks so i had got a lot of questions about how i was teaching her how to read um, and know her sight words at this early age and I just wanted to come to y'all with the video showing y'all um, The words that she knows and what my method is she'll be three next month. So she's not uh, Quite yet three years old. I know some kids and some moms uh, Or parents who start teaching their kids how to read or identify sight words uh, earlier in age than I have so it is possible for them to be learning Really, I feel like whatever age you start exposing them, kids can really start uh, picking that up. I just waited until she showed an interest in real reading. So we read every night. Uh, that's kind of how I encourage her and her reading is that we read three books a night. Um, and then what happened from there is that the books that we read often, she kind of started memorizing the words of those books. And some of the books she actually just knows by heart. Um, and she'll just pick it up and she'll read it and she knows exactly what page what words are on when she started doing that That's what I used as the indicator that she was ready to start actually reading words. So let's just get into it. All right <laughs> Mari You want to do some spelling? No, no. Yeah. Come on Can I touch it? Yeah, in a minute say hi, hi. Um, So yeah I'm going to start with the words that we've been going over for a minute and then I'll do the words that the two words that we just added on yesterday. Okay. First word. This is the first word. What's this word, Mari? Look at it. Look at it. Stop looking at the camera. Look at the word, Kamaria. Look at the word. What's, thank you. R. Give me half a good job. Thank somebody. It's the next one. Oh. Oh, good job. <laughs> High five. Yeah. All right. This is the next one. What's this one? Mine. Huh? Mine. Mine. High five. High five. Can you give me a high five? Look here. Stop looking at the camera. Gosh. This is the next one. Kamaria, what's this word? Nope. What's the word? Look at it. Look at it, Kamaria. Stop guessing. Hey. hey, good job. High five. That's my good girl. Next word. What's his word? Them. Them. High five. That's my good girl. That's my good girl. This is the next one. What's this one? Don't guess. What is it? Look at it. Cats. A dog. Dog. High five. <laughs> I need you to stop guessing though. I know you know these words. What's this word, Mari? Couple. Look at this word. What's this no. word? Thank you. No. no. That's not another high word. five. High five. Come on. Give me high five. All right. No high five then. Oh, give me high five. This is the next one. Give me high five. What's this word? Oh. Oh, good job. That's my big girl. <laughs> Um, and last one. Let's see if you can get this one. These are the words we had just added on uh, as of yesterday. Kamaria, what's this word? Look at it. Dumb. Huh? Dumb. Nope, look at it. Look at me. Look at me with the word, Kamaria. Kamaria, Kamaria. Uh, All right, we just gonna skip that one for now since she don't want to pay attention. What's this word, Kamaria? Cat. Cat. Good job. Yeah. High five. So, high okay. Five. 
to a cat. Yes, we can go see a cat very soon. Now we're going to come back to this word. What's this word? Remember this one? Mm -hmm. We just learned it yesterday. What is it? Hmm? Huh. Huh? No. You see, look, S O M E. What does that spell? Hmm. Kamaria cat. It doesn't smell Kamaria. It doesn't spell K. It spells some. Yeah. Say some. Yeah. Some. 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 Now look at the word. Some. Some. Like I want some. Yes, so this is some. Okay, you got it? It's some. Some. Okay, here. Don't break it, okay? So, anyway, as y'all can see, uh, she yeah. got like 9 out of 10 of them right yeah. today, but really she does better when she's more focused. Um, that's like the hardest thing about teaching yeah. a toddler how to read is just keeping yeah. them focused um, on the reading and not constantly moving. Um, and just keeping her looking at the actual words instead of guessing. That has been like a challenge for me. But for the words that she knows least, what I truly do over and over again is like if she gets it wrong... Like some, again, we just learned this word yesterday, so it's really typical for her uh, second day in of learning the word for her to still be kind of caught up on it. Um, I just keep repeating over and over again. What is it? What is it? What is it? We say some, some, some. We just keep saying it over and over again. And I try to give her some type of sentence um, so that she can know exactly what word she's saying. Um, what word she's reading and what it means, if that makes any sense at all. So, um, really the way that we've been doing it is we'll start off with, or we started off with, I think, two cards in one day. And after she showed that she mastered that, that's when we added one more card. And we do it every single day. Um, sometime either in the morning, but majority of the time in the evening, we go over the words so that way it becomes a repetition and she learns them better. Um, that's really been helping. And like I said, we started about two weeks ago. I got these flashcards off of Amazon, but you can really get them from any store. I'm sure you can get them from Barnes & Noble and things like that. The cards that I got came with a hundred of them all together. I know some people utilize like snacks or treats in, in order to kind of get their kids motivated and use it as a positive reinforcement. We don't really do that, um, and that's only just because uh, it doesn't seem like we have to because the idea of spelling enough seems to be um, enough for her. Mm, thank you, baby. Usually, uh, if she sees the cards hanging out, then she'll just say, I want, I want to do some spelling. So we kind of make it like a game. Um, so yeah, that's how we've been doing it, just repetition. Um, introducing a few words at a time, uh, not overdoing it, and also just giving praise. You know, me and her, we do a high five, and I make it like I'm really excited every single time that she recognizes a word, no matter how many times that we have practiced it. And also, she has, like, letters in the bathtub that she uh, brings to the bath with her. Come on. And how we've been doing that is we've been, like, just kind of plastering those on the wall and we'll make a game even if we're in a bathtub um, of spelling different words. That's how we've been doing it. Let me know if y'all have any questions or concerns. I think it's really self-explanatory. Don't feel discouraged if your kid isn't picking up right away. Again, it's the repetition. It's the positive reinforcements. It's the constant um, exposure to those words that really, really helps, at least in my experience. All right. Peace, love, black power all day, every day, ain't no other way, okay?